yeah, though, though these are my thoughts on Hourglass. I be do believe that if you don't own an Hourglass product, maybe wait for like a like a palette release because here you'll be able to try different um, finishes. Cause you know what else we're gonna do? Okay, so the big hype with Hourglass, right? Because Hourglass just released their holiday collection. I saw it and I am not impressed. A lot of repeat shade repeats and with hourglass okay when hourglass I am a fan I am a huge fan of hourglass I will show you my collection like because okay truth be told hourglass has one of the best powders but it doesn't it but hourglass does not do setting it doesn't set your concealer like what Bobby Brown just did. So, uh, so Hourglass is more for all over the face um, setting. So, um, Hourglass has its strengths and its weaknesses. Hourglass is not something I would use to set my under eye concealer not even their their loose powder in the little tub uh like for doing that the best or one of the best in the market is Givenchy. this is what i use when i want to really have my under eyes my concealer set good everything i know it'll work out also kosas the little round also Kosas, I bought this in a mini because I did not discover it when it first came out. I did hear the hype, but I was like, mm, it's okay. I, I had something else I was enjoying at the moment. And so, but um, recently, a, a few months ago, I picked up this and I've been loving it too. I would use it um, either, I would use either that or the Da Vinci if I want a um, nice setting. Now, um but that bobby brown is looking so far it's looking like it's gonna it's gonna be on the same level as those two now um hourglass hourglass is an amazing powder but you cannot use it to set your concealer you use it to set your face not even their little tub um that is in the same um category as this and I think it's advertised with this brush. I actually bought it from the Hourglass website as a bundle with this brush and I like this brush. It's, it's really cool. I'm going to use it in a moment. Okay, so um, yeah, the, the so when I first discovered um, Hourglass, I purchased for the full sizes because I don't know if these ones were around or maybe I just I missed I did not notice that they released um compact um full face palettes um so I picked up these and uh so this is this is this is a good one this is like the most yellow that they have and I bought it because I love yellow and then I have also oh, this is a uh, diffused light and then another bronzer that is amazing that goes with my skin oh you know what okay here's the thing with hourglass it is if you are light to medium skin the powders are amazing and they are very forgiving like you don't have to uh, use a specific shade because they they blend well they like kind of adjust to your skin tone so um but this was the bronzer that I liked the most this is a uh, radiant bronze light and I, I believe that this kind of shade is duplicated in many of the the face palettes um you can you'll find it in in many of them 
or something similar or something for medium skin light to medium skin maybe like all in that range can be can use it if uh, now recently they have like darker darker uh, shades of bronzers which lean towards red now those ones are a little different on my skin I can't now that they're actually um, producing for deeper skins uh, now you have to be careful you really have to um, see what's for your skin type your skin shade right like your range because now finally they are catering to many skin tones like they're going on the deeper end as well which is amazing because they were missing that after just setting my my concealer i'm gonna do a lipstick and then we're gonna get to talking about the hourglass so as always i have this on my lips it's um the oak pot oak miracle lip ointment it is amazing okay so i'm gonna go in with just uh nyx lip liner that i just picked up and this is in the color nude truffle and oh man there is oh my god there is no i'm gonna go into putting a little something on my lips i'm gonna do a uh, rent do by one size And then I'm going to go with uh, Fenty, a little glass bomb that I had around. And I just, I'm just doing these two products because I just, I wanted these two, like a brown and just a, like a nude kind of something in the middle. So this is uh, Baby Brut. And it's like a, I don't think I've used it in the past. Just a little glossy I think it's it's like a nude with a little shimmer okay so that's what we're doing for lips and um, okay so going back into hourglass now when hourglass first when I discovered hourglass I got full size and these are expensive I can't recall how much um, but uh, for a little powder, I recall it being expensive. So I have ambient lighting powder and diffused light. This is one of my favorites. If I want to do like an overall um, face setting, I'll use this. And I can actually put this on top of any other powder that I've used in the past, like, or I've used prior on my face, like I did today. I did, I went with the uh, Bobbi Brown. So this is the Hourglass uh brush and if you just do this it will just make your skin look so nice that is that is the superpower of these powders and that's why they are so popular but i don't recommend getting this because it's pricey so that's why the, the the face the face palettes are so popular because you get a range of colors you and you get you can do your whole face with it right but this but it's kind of hard like you cannot really use this you can't use this brush for sure on those palettes because the little squares are so tiny and you're just gonna if you're trying to put a setting powder, you're gonna go. You're gonna get into the blush because they're so tiny and right next to each other. But this powder just makes your skin look, your complexion look flawless. And okay. However, okay. So I 
when I got, when I saw that after buying these single ones, uh, this is Diffuse Bronze Light. This is more of a neutral kind of shade because uh, Radiant Bronze Light is more of a warm for like all over the face. And this one is, is nice for kind of like contouring because it's more of a neutral. I'm actually going to use it to show. I'm going to use this little brush. It is very subtle. Yeah, you won't be able to see it, I don't think, on the camera. Actually, maybe you can see the contouring of the nose. Kind of looks reddish to me over here. What? And I picked this because I thought it was a neutral. Okay, anyways. It does come come through. So this that was um diffuse bronze light. This one right here. You see the dirt okay, so this one you see when you look at them, you can see that one is this one is more neutral. Then this one. Okay, I'm gonna go in with diffused uh, radiant bronze light on over here. So maybe you can see it. So that is the thing with these powders. You can't really like, you can get any shade and they kind of look the same that is why when they do these face palettes and they put uh blushes that are too similar these ones are not similar that's why i bought them i bought this palette because first of all this this color right here just it was so beautiful and this one these two were so different but the following years after, the, I think this is the Skull palette. Oh, wait, let me. I can actually read which one it is and tell you what it is. Okay. Ambient Light Sculpt Palette. Yeah, Lighting Edit Sculpt Palette. And um, this roll right here is sold on its own, like a palette on its own with this three. And... And this, I can put it, I can use it all over my face. And that's what drew me to this palette. And then here, I can choose, this is this is the bronzer right here. Um, The bronzer is number six. Blush. Okay, no, it's not number six. Okay, one second. Okay, bronzer, natural bronze light is what that is. But it's so small, like you really have to use like a brush like this, like one of my favorite brushes goes perfectly in there. I'm actually going to use this to, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to go into this to show you how beautiful this, um, look at that. And you really have to use. This is a beautiful peachy pink shade. And it's got, like you don't need a highlighter with these or with this specific one. Cause Hourglass doesn't really do matte. Look at how beautiful and natural. <laughs> maybe not so natural but it like this shade is just this is when they started bringing out brighter shades i actually have a i did i did buy this bl bl blush in full size pricey 
Um, but look at how beautiful this is. And this is Radiant Magenta. This shade was hard to get a hold of at Sephora. And, but when I found it, it was like the only one left. And it had been in the market for a while. And I saw it in a tiny mini size. Uh, and then when I went back to the store a few days later trying to pick it up because I couldn't stop thinking about it, it was gone. But I, and then I found one full size, so I had to get it. It is just an amazing shade. And um, look how beautiful this is. Like, you can be done with your makeup with this. Okay, so, but I have not purchased anything. Actually, this is my only face, full face palette that I've purchased. Uh, my daughter did get the following year, I believe, after this one. She got one for her because um, I told her how great these were. So this is the uh, Ambient Lighting Edit Universal Unlocked. Okay, so this is the Unlocked. And she got the deeper. Okay. It's uh, one of the, the... One of the... One of the... This one is, like, falling. But it's just... It's not glue, like it just if we just have to put a little glue in there, it's fine though. Okay, so this is the one she got, and this is beautiful as well. Whoa. Okay. I think that this palette is better than what they're offering this year, 2023. And this, these, both of these palettes are st still on the Hourglass website for purchase. And they are about $10 less than the ones from this year. And the ones from this year, oh my goodness, like the medium palette, um, I believe is the... Uh, um, cheetah or the black one it's, it's a black the the compact is black and i think it has some cheetah animals on it that one is like 90 percent repeat shades which is horrible these two shades of blushes are so different from one another that you can get different looks from this palette and that's when i think that it's worth the price when you can there's one or two palettes on this year's release that are so similar on the face they would look the same like you nobody could tell that you have two different blushes on that is a huge no for me like i'm not gonna invest in shades that look the same um, so for medium skin tones, like my daughter really likes the, this palette. Um, and the year that I purchased this one, I was impressed with their packaging. The year I bought this, um, the sculpt, I was impressed with their packaging. I thought it was beautiful. I really liked the gold, light gold shade of it. And so I bought, I also bought the smaller one because the blush and the other shades or like okay this one this right here is a strobe and i'm gonna put it on this is so um the highlight okay i'm gonna put it right here and right here look at how impactful that highlight is It is better than any beaming highlighter out there because it really looks like lit 
from within, but like to the max. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that like that so you can see. And on this side, I have the highlighter, and on this side I don't, it's just the uh, the blush, which does have a little shimmer on it. Uh, and you don't need a highlighter, but this one just has a little extra. So in terms of investing in these palettes, if you like a highlighter, look for a palette that has the strobe light because that's what gives this beamy highlight. You don't need another highlight in the market. This will do it all. It's amazing. Like anything, anybody else, um, even Natasha, Anastasia, the, the highlighters that they brought, even... Um, Rare Beauty's new little round highlighter, which has been hyped. None of those are better than this. Like, Hourglass, that's why <laughs> we look forward to their annual release because they are impressive. Their, their powders are impressive. And they started doing these powders many years ago. Brands that are popular now that are in in Sephora were not in Sephora or were not popular back when Hourglass was doing their amazing powders. That's why they are so popular. But having said that, I I, I only bought one face palette because the following ones I was not impressed with. Either they were too similar, repeat something that I already have, or it would just not bring anything new to my collection. That is the reason why I have not invested in more. And I am very happy with my collection. Like I really thought about which ones to get in full size because these babies are expensive and they are an investment but when you use them your face is gonna look flawless like all these other powder powders that have come out in the market saying that they are blurring they are skin perfecting this and that hourglass did it first and hourglass keeps doing it and other many other uh, powders have not surpassed hourglass level that's why hourglass even though they've had controversy they have not been canceled we are still looking and now that they're like improving in their shades i mean like this this one with um these bright blushes were impressive okay so um yeah though, though these are my thoughts on hourglass i be do believe that if you don't own an hourglass product maybe wait for like a like a palette release because here you'll be able to try different um finishes because they have a normal um i think that like these ones are either uh finishing powders or they do they they all have a little shimmer on it so you always look glowing with whatever powder you use but the strobe powders are the ones that really stand out so those are the two different types they don't do mattes so your face is always going to look glowing when you are when you have hourglass on your face uh, so in terms of investing in hourglass i would advise to start off with a face palette because you get six little things that you can play with you know you can do your whole face with this uh and if the um, the blush is deep enough you can actually put it on your eyes like i could put this on my eyes and it will look good like i can do these two and do eyeshadow and high highlight brow highlight with this um i don't think they're doing this these quads anymore i have not seen them after this and I think this is the first time they did it or the second time and I have not see, seen them do it again now my thoughts on this little quad I still think that it was a good investment because you get everything here this is a finishing powder 
and this is a bronzer that is perfect for my skin and this is a strobe light which is this and then this blush is an everyday blush you get everything here this was a good that's why when i saw this one i loved it because mainly this is what attract me but everything else i can use and love like the bronzer is amazing too this one i want to do like a like a less intense uh, blush i can pick it from here or if i want to do a more dramatic i can go here and i can even make it more intense than what i did here um but this like i could i could not decide when this like both of them were so good that i could not decide so i picked up both but i have not picked up anything since and i think this these are like um maybe this was way before covid for sure <laughs> so covid was it started like three years ago so these are quite old and the formula is still good like i don't see anything deteriorating no weird smells nothing going weird in a, on application or the appearance of my face once applied nothing has changed so i have no reason to suspect something going bad with these powders which is a good thing to mention um letting you know that the powders are good quality they last i think they're like a 12 out of 12 months shelf life but girl they've they, they've been here for years and i don't there's nothing that will make me think oh my god i shouldn't put this on my face anymore so all is well um so yeah so in terms of this one if you find if you are a big bronzing person and you're like okay i want to try hourglass and you use bronzing like all over your face this size might be a good one to try if you are my complexion i would say and you like like a golden warm and as opposed to neutral or gray undertone bronzer i would suggest radiant bronze light this is i think this is this was the first product i bought and i absolutely loved it and then i bought all the other ones um this one is more of a neutral i believe although it did come red out here which i don't understand why because see if i swatch it that's what it looks like like it it doesn't even look like it has any color I'm gonna swatch radiant light so there they are see how this one is more of a golden tone I want to do more of the nude one or the it doesn't even look like I should be using it as a bronzer it looks like a finishing powder but you see how I did it on my nose and it completely contoured it with these powders like you never know um yeah so it's like a beigey here's not doing much but on my nose it really contoured it um like this is enough for me to do to a contoured uh nose so um yeah but if you're my shade i would recommend uh radiant bronze light this one right here you can use it you can like really apply it intensely or very lightly all over your face okay now um yeah so i had to talk about hourglass because it is one of my favorite uh powders now we're gonna get into um let me just <laughs> we're gonna get we're gonna get back into um patrick ta's eyeshadow 